Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are building this Roman inspired build. I used granite stone bricks as well as concrete, smooth quartz, and dorite for this build. So I start off with the base. I just like to make a little foundation of how I want the shape of the build to be. And then I start building up the towers. I use World Edit to fill them in real quickly. Next, I build up all the rest of the wall, and for all the walls, I am using white concrete. Now I am doing some detailing around how I want the door. The Roman builds are famous for arches. Kind of like how the Greeks have arches in their builds as well. So I like to add a lot of arches to this kind of a build. This was just me trying to figure out what design I wanted to use for the arches. And now I'm building up all the other columns, which will later become arches as well. I use upside down stairs and slabs for the arches. Now we're going to do the arches on the inside where the little courtyard is, and in the middle of the courtyard where the water is, we're going to end up adding a weeping willow tree. Most Roman builds have courtyards with water in them and a garden in the middle of the build, or they'll have a hole in the roof with a tiny, thin dent in the floor in the shape of a square that holds water when it rains and then when it rains it leaves a very thin puddle that's super reflective. It's a very aesthetic thing for Roman builds. That's why I, inco I incorporated it into this build. Just finishing up the walls. And doing the last bits of arches. Now for the bedroom. I want the bedroom to have an archway entrance as well. So that's what we're doing. And now it's time to do the roofs. And some windows. of decorations.
I use the bricks for the roof. The roof can be a little bit of a painstaking process since it takes so long. I ended up really not liking how the roof turned out here, so I just ended up replacing all the stairs with slabs. And now the roof's done, so now we're working on the detailing around the walls. Adding windows with upside down stairs, which are made out of granite, for detail. Time for the tree. Now we put some leaves on it. I really wanted to give this tree a nice droopy vibe. That's why I ended up putting all the fences around it to make it look like the branches were drooping down a little. And we're gonna make the leaves look kind of droopy too by extending them downwards. And we're adding some lanterns. Now we're sprucing up the rest of the garden. Adding some bushes with berries. Also some potted bushes too in the far distance over there. Now we're filling up the pots with some spruce, no, some oak saplings and some flowers. Adding doors. And now we're going to add some pots with some flowers and saplings in the outside as well, where all the windows are as well as a bunch of rose bushes. Just to decorate it all a little bit more. I love the way nature looks. We're also adding berry bushes in front of the rose bushes. It's complete. I had a fun time building this house. This is my first time ever doing a Roman style build. Well, Roman inspired. But I really enjoyed it. I think I want to practice building this style some more.
But if you enjoyed what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my Twitch too. I stream there four days a week, building in Minecraft, chatting and just chatting, and also shooting spells and spell break. So don't forget to check it out. Have a good night. I hope you enjoyed.